einkorn is very unique. It's like almost a wild grain. Very low yield, but highest nutritional value you can find. It's been a tradition for over 8,000 years in this area. Einkorn was able to grow here and it stayed in the rotation of the lavender. And einkorn really stayed alive only because of the necessity to do rotation. And even people didn't even know how important einkorn was, so they didn't think anybody would be interested in it. Gary was searching for nutritional products. He used to go to the Middle East looking for ancient grains. And I remember once he came here, we were on the farm, he said, what are you cultivating here? I said, we cultivate einkorn. And he said, I've been looking for this specific grain for many years, and I didn't even know I was growing it on my farm in France. <laughs> So Gary, when he gets excited, he gets excited. He said, let's go for it. We have to promote the production of Einkorn. Gary allowed for Einkorn to be known a little bit more worldwide. And so it became more knowledgeable. And then myself and the other farmers, when we started you know, seeing the nutritional analysis and all that, we're like, wow. This is the only cereal that has all the amino acids, so you have the perfect input of protein thanks to wine corn. Wheat will, you know, it's, it's so different than the original state it was in nature. Einkorn, on the other hand, it's never been hybridized, it's never been selected, it is the way it was in nature. It is very easy to digest and has this panel for nutritional value. Einkorn could save the world, according to Gary, because einkorn would bring the necessary proteins and the benefits in health, and that would help a lot of people. 